Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for coming and hanging back with me on my channel. You know what day it is. Tokyo treat. So let's do this. This box is completely different than what I'm used to getting. So this should be interesting. I was told of the different stuff that was in here. Um, so I tried not to read too much into it because you know me, I like surprises for the most part. So here we go. It's kind of like blue and orange this time. Not, not too shabby. Looks pretty cool. Our world is yours. Treat yourself. Love it. Post it. Tag it. Nice. All right. Well, I can't wait. Let's get into it. Of course, I'm going to take the drink out first, just in case. This is a, a Fanta. Looks like some sort of grape one. Let's take out the book because you guys know how I am. This book has everything that I need to know about each treat and why they included it in the box. Yogurt Rush. Okay. Uh, watching cells at work is thirsty work. Good thing we've got Fanta Yogurt Rush. The mus Muscat Yogurt flavored soda combines tasty and fizzy goodness with probiotics that are good for cells. Okay. This should be interesting. Let's hope it doesn't burst like the other one did. Nope. Oh. We're good. We're good. All right, let's try it. Should I... I shouldn't shake it. Okay. It does. I, so a yogurty drink to me would be more like creamy, but they're sticking with their soda, which is pretty cool. So I guess it has the same type of probiotics and whatnot as a yogurt would, but it's not like thick or weird. It's, you can see in the bottle, it's actually pretty, Pretty fizzy, pretty liquidy, not bad. Um, it has a very, um, like a very light grape, not, you know, the green grapes. If you eat those a lot, it does have a light green grape type taste, but it's mostly like a seltzer water that's lightly flavored. And then just a hint of that um, like a plain yogurty type taste, which isn't actually bad at all. I eat a yogurt every single day. So this is pretty good. A lot of you guys know that I'm going to be opening the drinks and stuff first, just so I can wet my whistle as I go through everything here. So not too shabby. Let's keep this over here by my scissors. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on my last video. Cause it seemed to work for me where I went down the line when it came to what I was uh, consuming because it was easier to read on the, the booklet. Sorry, I gotta take my shoes off. Shoes off, whole body up. Cause I gotta, I gotta sit on my legs. I know it's weird. Okay. Anyway, so Kit Kat Maple. All right. Let's grab this out. No, not now, Emilio. So we have the um, Kit Kat Maple. Is that a sea turtle? It looks like, okay. It's, oh, what? Okay, so it looks like it's got a bunch of um, different type of sea critters or something. Different, even the Arctic critters. Uh, giraffes, okay, hold on. Japan and Canada, we're getting, oh, what is that? Hetalia vibes, H-E-T-A-L-I-A. Uh, you won't be able to stop munching on rich Japan exclusive maple syrup Kit Kats. And we love their eco-friendly outer packaging. That's why. <clears throat> it feels like, um, like recycled paper. And it's maple flavored. So here in the United States, we have pancakes and we put maple syrup on pancakes. So I'm expecting these to kind of taste like I'm going to dip my finger in some syrup. We'll see. Let's try it. It's not super, you got, I don't know why I smell everything. It's so weird. I know. 
Oh, some of you who know me know that I love penguins. They're one of my favorite animals ever. And this is absolutely adorable. The outer packaging is a penguin. Cute. I'm doing everything with scissors because I made the biggest mistake of going and getting my nails done and I hate it. Smack, like waffles. It smells like waffles with syrup on them. Oh. Oh my. Imagine having waffles with syrup, but they're also covered in white chocolate. Mmm. You're pushing my chair. No, it's a paper. My dog, I swear. So these are actually really good. It's very, the wafer crunch to it is, is cool. If you love Kit Kats and you love that crunch, you still get it. But it literally is like having a waffle, like eating a, a, a waffle that's covered in white chocolate dipped in syrup. That is good. Maybe because I'm so used to the maple-y type thing, flavor I should say, but that's really good. Okay, that's good. That is really good. I wish they sold the, those here in the States because it lives true to it. That's, and I get it, Canada, maple, that's cute, but the taste is just crazy good because it has that white chocolate, it's, it's yummy. Okay, so the next is the Moochie Moochie uh, Chocolate Secura Moochie? No, oh, that's a lot of Moochie. Demon Slayers, uh, Mitsuri, can, what are you doing over there? Sorry, my dog. Uh, Demon Slayers, Mitsuri, Kanuri, lo I don't, uh, somebody loves Moochie. Someone with the name Demon Slayer really likes Moochie. Cool. Too busy snacking out and chatting up on anime to take in spring? We've got you. Fill up on chewy and sweet Sakuri Moochie with a matcha ganashi Ganache, whoa. Y'all already know that I can't talk. Okay, so fill up on the chewy Sakura Muchi with a matcha gracha <laughs> filling for your spring fix. Okay, it's something that's gonna be good. I know that. I really need to practice my, my saying or how I say things because I'm killing it and not in a good way. All right, let's find this. It's in a box. I feel like I, oh, what is this? Oh, they look like the soft dough things that I love. Oh, my Lanta. Expiration date. The box is super cute. Mm -hmm. It's very, very simple, very elegant. It must be uh, by a company named Bourbon or something. Um, yeah, www.bourbon.co. Let's just give it a go here, huh? Whoops. Can't even, I can't pronounce things. I can't open the boxes the right, who does that? Me, I guess. Ooh, cool. Oh, so I can send one of these to Ryan. I'm sure he'll love. Sorry about the box. I didn't mean to break it. Cool. All right. Some of those with some Kit Kats. All right. And it comes in, there's two of these in there. So it's a, it's a four package. So there's eight total and it comes with one of these and there's a whole nother one in that box. And it's, it's pretty hefty. Not going to lie. Pretty heavy type treat. Let's go for it, shall we? If this is what I'm thinking, I'm gonna be very, very pleased. It's got like a, ooh. Smells like figs. Like a like if you pull a fig off a tree and it's got the little flavor packet in there. We're gonna 
keep condensing things one into the other into the other. So that is the setup there. And it comes with this little, okay, this little wooden stick. That's what it looks like. I never know what my face looks like, you know, because I'm always like, oh. I, I don't know. It's very soft, very smooth and delicate. My hands are clean. Okay, I don't know what the stick's for, but we're gonna go with it. Cool. Very sticky. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a mochi, mochi, machi. I don't know how to, forgive me, please. But that's really good. The outside of it, which is like this, um, this like squishy, soft, but smooth type thing that it's got going on. It's, uh, you can, when you look at it, you can kind of see it's got like the jelly on the outside, but on the inside, sorry, it's got the green mo mo mochi and it, um, it's really good. It's soft. The outside does have like a figgy type taste, but very, very mild. And the inside has that flavor that just, when you start chewing, it really comes through. Very light. It's not overly powerful where you want to, you know, where it's just too much. You could, I, I mean, I could eat this whole thing and, and be satisfied. But I, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. I'll probably eat it later because... I got I got the rest of this to finish. That's really good. I'm gonna leave it here so I can finish that. Take a sip, get some probiotics so I can digest this all. Okay. I had my hair curled. And it looks amazing, but I forgot how much all of it gets in the way when I eat things. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to start Google translating words before I do this. Lucky cat candy. Okay. This is the little cat that, um, I think when you go in places, it's always moving its hand up and down. Where is it? Where are you, lucky cat? So lucky cat candy. It says, uh, bring the little snack magic to your anime snack fest. This candy changes color as you enjoy it and the color reflects your fortune. Red is lucky, yellow is normal, and green is, well, you know. Red is lucky, yellow is normal, and green is, is it bad? Green's what? How will I know? You guys wanna, okay. I mean, all right. I kind of want to try it starts out okay so it starts out like a like a weird purple color am i supposed to suck on it kind of tastes like a great gob stopper like if you've ever had a gob stopper How am I supposed to know what color it turns to? Am I supposed to take it out and look at it? It's still purple. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep sucking on it. Hmm. I don't know how long it's supposed to take, but I don't want to sit here sucking on candy. I don't know. It's still kind of purple to me. So I'm just gonna, it's good. It tastes really good, but for the sake of time, 
I don't know. We're going to go with the fact that it's red. Or like pur maybe purple means awesome. There we go. Mm -hmm. I can't sit there and suck on that long enough or it's going to take up too much time. Okay, moving on. But I do like the package because it's got the little kitty cat on there. And then um, it actually has the writing on the back to let you know which each color means. And it's sweet. There's no tart or tanginess to it. It's very sweet. It's definitely firm. You can't chew on it. Um, I tried to, but it's it's like a very... It tastes like a, a grape gobstopper, but it has the... Uh, the density of a jawbreaker. So here in the States, they have jawbreakers and you you cannot bite that candy. You have to just continuously suck on the candy. So, but yeah, it's cute and it tastes good. Okay, so General Ikasin, or is that an L or an I? Maybe the I is silent, I don't know. Oh, that's the, um, what is this? Oh, he's got like a little headband on. He is one heck of a squid. Okay, check that out. It says, add some crunch to your anime marathon with this tasty Japanese squid cracker. Perfect for anime lovers who will be sailing the high seas with One Piece. With the One Piece crew. One Piece. With the One Piece crew. All right. I should save this and, and show sweets and Marcus. Sailing the high seas with the One Piece crew. Um, it's a squid cracker. I'm gonna save that. I uh, I like shrimp, I like seafood, I like squid, but I'm gonna save this one and send it to Ryan. I think I've sent him a squid one before, but this is a One Piece one, maybe he'll like it. I have not, my I, myself, I have not gotten in to One Piece, but I hear that it is something that I need to get into. So may or may not, I don't know. I probably will. Okay, let's see. The next one that we're moving on to is, what? That time I got reincarnated as a slime kumuji, but it's a gummy. Kojumi, kojumi. That time my snack got reincarnated as slime uh, kumui gummies. These awesome mini gummies feature four designs of Rimru, Tempest, and four flavors. Soda, Blood Orange, Musket, and Energy Drink. All you anime people are out there shaking your phones like, why is she butchering these names? I'm sorry. Don't hate me. What the heck? This is pretty cool. Look at the packaging. That is pretty dang cool. And the back also has one of the characters on it as well. That is pretty cool. Let's uh and it's zip it's a Ziploc like a like it reseals. So it's not like once you open it you have to eat them all or they go bad. So that's a plus. Most of you know I have a daughter and she is in love with everything anime. Oh, they smell really good. They smell like grape. You know those uh, beads here that we have in the States that you put them in plants and they just, they puff up when they soak up the water and then they water your plants. That's what these look like. These, they're like little tiny clear very squishy, kind of like a gummy bear type texture. Ooh, mmm. That's like lime. That's the orange. They're, they're small, don't, like, you see how small they are and they're clear. They're very, very gummy, but they're not, they are packed with flavor. Like there is so much flavor. I'm gonna cough, I'm sorry. <coughs> That's what happens when you get so excited and you eat stuff too fast. 
going down the wrong. That's actually really good. Okay. <clears throat> There we go. Yay. Something about the, the carbonation in these beverages just gets like, if you have an itchy throat, it scratches it. But wow, these are really good. Slam packed with flavor, very spongy, but they're not, you know, gummy bears take forever. And after a while, it's like, ugh, it's just like you're, <coughs> oh, sorry. It's when you're eating the gummy bear, it's kind of like, um, like it's so chewy, you know? And it's like, oh, is this ever gonna end? These start out like a like chewy, very spongy, gummy, but they're, you are you can squish them with your teeth. Does that make sense? Okay, that sounds ridiculous, I know. But it, it just, it's better, I guess, than like a regular gummy bear. It doesn't sit there and take forever and you're chewing on it for way too long. It actually, it, uh, it goes down smooth. We'll go with that, it goes down smooth. Dang it, I'm gonna save those for Willow. Which one's next? Uh, Dragon Potato Tasty Chili Flavor. Okay. Dragon Flavor Chili, what? Dragon Potato Tasty Chili Flavor. While watching Dragon Goes House Hunting, give Dragon Potato a home in your belly. The addictive spicy flavor of these curly chips is cut with mellow cheese and veggies. Yum. They, um, I think it's kind of cool how they have the dragon that's going around like that and then they take the actual cracker and it's like, it's spirally too and it starts off thin and gets, it's kind of it's cool. Oh, look, look at, would you look at that? Frito-Lay, coming in hot. Oh, we want cool stuff like this, Frito-Lay, Frito-Lay. Yes, I cut off the whole top unnecessarily. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't really smell. I know, like, why would I put my whole face in there? Why would I put my whole, I don't know. It, it smells like a regular potato chip, not so much like cheese. So it has a crunchy to it like a um like a pringle wood like a crunch like a like a crunchy pringle wood and then look at that it is very spirally almost like one of those uh french fries and it does have a little bit of a spice to it like a little it's a little kick it's not over overpowering though so you can still taste the flavor of the the cheesiness Very crunchy. I would say like the the chili flavor and the cheese go really well. Then it has that bit of spice from the chili, but it's not overpowering. And then you still have that nice kind of not warm, but you know how you describe things warm tasting. Like it's got that warmth to it um, from the potato. So you still get the little small undertones of potato, very light cheese, very, very mild cheese. And uh, mostly the chilliness actually comes from it. So if you're a chili fan, for sure, definitely. I can continue eating these, but I am such a baby when it comes to spicy stuff that um, I'll probably give these to, to my husband. I'll eat one more. Mm-hmm. A lot of the spicy chili flavored um, like chips or crackers or whatever, they have a weird aftertaste. This does not have that. So a lot of the times you get that overpowering weird, um, either from the spice or from the potato itself and it burns and lingers. It's not like that with this. For whatever reason, it's, you get it, it's there, yum, yum, yum. The moment you're done, it's kind of gone. That's really it. So if you like spicy and you like that kick, you get that, but then it doesn't stay. It it goes away and you can continue enjoying what you're doing. And you're not like sweating. It's good. It's really good. Okay. What do we got next? 
Ace gum. Oh no. Remember the one time I ate the gum from this box? It was like three or four Tokyo treats ago and the gum was so sour, my face was like meh and distorted. It was, it was crazy. Um, it says maybe, is this it? No, this is it. Oh boy. And it looks like it's sour. Crap. Ooh. Okay, it says, Ace Gum. Maybe Prince of Tennis is more your speed. We've got the gum for you. This Japanese tennis ball shaped gum starts sour with its lemon, but gradually gets sweeter. Huh. I'm so nervous. That smells like it's going to smack me right in the face. Oh, kind of. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. Hold on. It looks like a tiny little tennis ball. It's got like the, it's got like the little lines in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it, they added like this outer shell to where it looks like it's fuzzy, almost like it's actual tennis ball. And it has these little lines in it. It's kind of lopsided probably from, you know, creating it or whatever, but it's still somewhat round and it's got the lines in it like a tennis ball would. There it is. Here comes the sweet. Mm. The sour is still like squishing. Oh man. Oh, that really is sour. Oh, I keep getting that sweetness, but then the sour creeps back in. Quacha. Mm hmm. Okay. We're good. It subsided. No more sour as much. But it's, I think it's the coating that definitely has the sour. Because when you first put it in your mouth, you're like, this is fine. And then next thing you know, there it is. Mixes with your saliva, and that's it. And then it gets sweet. It doesn't really have much of a flavor to it. I wouldn't say lemony, but it's there, like hints of it. And it's not, I, would, I wouldn't say it's like so sour that it really doesn't have a taste, but it's um, kind of like a warhead. It starts out like a warhead. You know how a warhead doesn't really have like a flavor to it? It kind of just goes from sour to sweet. That is this, and I can't continue to chew it because I have all these fun things uh, else to chew. Excuse me, I'm going to put it on this. There we go. Okay. That way you're not like, and I'm like stringing out gum over here. Okay. Not bad. Not as sour as the one that was from a few boxes ago. That one, I honestly thought that my face was going to stay uh, contorted for like the rest of my life. That's how sour it was. It was insane. So we have, um, oh my goodness, a sour cola gummy. Need a sour boost to waken up your waking you up after a long anime marathon kids and adults in japan alike love our sola cola gummies the sour shock and bottle shape make it a cute and refreshing treat a lot of these um gummy ones i'll eat or i'll give to um ryan but there is a couple things in here so I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this one to Ryan. A lot of the times when I have these, it reminds me of the little wax candies that I used to eat when I was a kid, but covered in like a sugar, like a very, if you look at it, there's like this very uh, large 
type of uh, granules and it, it, it is very sweet, but it's really good. So I'm gonna save that for him. Oh my, if you could see my dog right now, it's adorable. Let me see if I can move this because it is incredibly cute. She's gonna think I'm moving. Look at her with her face on the table. She's so incredibly cute. She's getting ready like, if you move, I'm moving too. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go to the Texas corn. Oh, my Lanta. Texas corn okonomalakiyaki. La, 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 la. I don't know how to say this. O-K-O-N-O-M-I-Y-A-K-I. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Forget popcorn. This is your new must-eat light snack for your favorite anime movies. Their sweet and savory sauce flavor is based on one of Japan's favorite party foods. It's one of Japan's favorite party foods, and I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. It looks really good, though. So it's got a cute little boy who's given the peace sign. And it's got like a little uh, kitty cat wearing a bandana. Not a bandana, but like a head wrap thingamajig. All right, let's give this a go. So it's saucy. Sometimes it'll give you like what kind of sauciness it has to it, whether it's a pork type thing, a soy type thing. Um, this didn't do either of that. So let's go. Someone's riding around on a little mini bike. Can't prevent the people from outside from making noise. All right. So it does have a sauciness to it. I would say it's like, um, kind of like a soy type uh, sauce flavor to it. Soy sauce flavor to it. Wow. But it does still have that. A lot of these boxes have this corn type of treat in it where it's round and it's really like it's, it's fluffy. Like it's very fluffy. Okay. And they're really, really good. And it's, it's something that when you chew it and when you're crunching on it, you just want to keep doing it because it, it, there's something about the crunch itself. That's, that's wonderful, but it does have that soy sauciness to it with a little bit of a uh, seasoning type hint to it. It's not bad at all. It's actually really, really good. Um, and this is something that when I open these boxes that I look forward to enjoying because the flavor is always different. The texture is always spot on and it's something that's just really lovely to have. My other, my big dog just heard me opening, opening things. All right. So that, that is actually really good. Those, that's something that I wish that we had here in the States. A lot of the puff balls and the, the very airy puffy, um, treats are very cheesy here, which I love. But these saucy type things where it's got like a regular, not so much a snack type thing, but more of like a dinner type seasoning, something that you'd have as like a meal and it's flavored that way. And I love that. That's one of the main things I love about these boxes. All right. So we're going to move on. I'm going to put these over here for later. And then we are going to move on to the uh, Becchio, Be yeah, A-B-E-K-K-O, Becchio. Ramune candy. Ramune? Ramune? A becchio Ramune? Ah. <sighs> For all you fans of cute anime and snacks. Oh, it's fruity. This fruity candy is a super juicy and colorful snack. Enjoy the fizzy texture and sweet flavor. It's this monkey one. If you look really closely, there's a monkey on there. So maybe this is banana flavored. Oh, wait, there's a lemon on it. I'm assuming it's like a lemony, marshmallowy type thing. It says fruity. Lemon is a fruit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's lemon. Whoa. What? 
What? You hear that? It's not marshmallowy. It's crunchy. And it literally dissolves in your mouth like a mint, like a really good mint would. It immediately just psh, dissolves. The moment you bite into it and your saliva touches it, it's a very, a lot of lemony is very sour or it tastes like a cleaning product. This is definitely fruity. You get more of that real fruity lemony flavor, but it's it's not overpowering and it's not sour. It is very sweet. That is really cool. That's good. That is super yummy. That's crazy. Literally. It's just dissolving. I know it's gross. I'm, I'm showing you, but it literally just dissolves in your mouth. Huh. I like that. I like that a lot. That is really cool. Hmm. It, it's gone. That's, that's nuts. The moment you bite into it and your saliva touches it, gone. It's gone. That's cool. I like that. That is crazy. To, that is nuts. Okay, I will say I've never experienced anything like that. Even with the mints that we have here, they have that mintiness to them, but they don't just dissolve like that where your saliva touches them and they're just gone. That's that's really cool. So a tea cookie. My poor tea cookie. Inside the pamphlet, the tea cookie looks like it's all in one one nice shape. Mine is like a dust. It's like a dusty powder of what used to be a cookie. We love this tea flavored cookie and it looks like it loves us back. The rich digerine flavor will go perfectly with your fave hot drink and a night in watching anime. Well, it's daytime and I'm not watching anime. I'm hanging out with you, but let's go for this. Whoa, cool. Mm, maybe because it's, um, maybe because it was crushed, it's kind of stale. It has a very, um, like a, like an old cookie type density to it. Kind of soft. This is a weird word, but it's moist and it legit tastes like tea. Like a sweet tea. Like a, like a black sweet tea. It's not bad. And the packaging is a little heart. So I'm assuming that this was probably heart shaped. But for me, if you look in it, it's uh there were two large pieces in there and the rest was just nothing but mush. Like it was crumbled up. So uh yeah. Unfortunately, there was the two pieces that were a little bit bigger than this that I was able to enjoy. The rest of it kind of just fell apart. And I'm assuming it's because the cookie was very moist. I know, I know, it's a gross word. But because it's it was very um moist and you know yeah i think it just kind of fell apart so left me with a with a with not a lot to be able to enjoy but i'm pretty sure it's the packaging the uh treats come just kind of in the box there's real no cushion to it so little things like this that can happen with not a big deal to me anyway definitely nice to snack on for a second but get this gum in here before it gets stuck in my hair that would be my luck this gum a lot of gum is very tacky very um where you can it's kind of gummy slash tacky this was very chewy very stringy this gum that I had this stuff very stringy like kind of gets stuck in your teeth that's how uh soft it is or tacky it is all right what is left? So we have the uh, Chibi Maru uh, Choco. Senpai isn't noticing you? Bruh, me too. Chibi Maru Choco with um, help. With help? Wait a minute. Maybe that's supposed to be will help. Senpai isn't noticing you? Bro, me too. Chibi Ma Maru Cho Choco will yeah, I think that was supposed to be with or or will help you 
uh, get over the pain. But it says uh, Chibi Maru Chu Chocho will help with help get over the pain. So little typo there, not not nothing serious. And I that's the first typo I've ever seen in these books. So my dog sneezed. Bless you. Um, okay, so it says it's sweet, cute, and chocolatey, and they're the cure for the chocoholics, chocoholics heartbreak. All right, well, I guess this is going to help me get over heartbreak. I'm down for that. Oh, it's very tiny. Very small. Maybe the size of my pinky. Not even, and there's only two hiccups, sorry. There's only two little candies in there. That's it. So maybe this is like a sample type thing, or maybe it's the best chocolate in the world. I don't know. They're very smooth. They don't look, they, they kind of look like M&Ms, but a lot, uh, a lot shinier. Yeah. It basically tastes like um like an M and M, but uh, imagine if the chocolate was mixed with a little bit of hazelnut. Does that make sense? Not like Nutella. That's whole. That's a whole different world. But imagine if you had an M and M that also tasted like hazelnut. That's basically exactly what this is. And unfortunately, you only get two of them. I would expect this to be like maybe 10, 15 cents at the store given the circumstance. Then we have a melon pan, which is crunchy and bite-sized. A melon pan cookie is what you need to break the tension during a climb, oh, a climatic anime scene. Snack out with it during your favorite battle. What is it? This? Yeah, this is it. I guess it looks white in the background, but they, when they took the picture, the package must have been over like a white background because it's clear. There you go. Oh wait, I had it upside down. Oh, Christy Lee. There you go, right side up. That way, if you wanna read it, you can. Though I barely give you any time. And this must be a very dense cookie or biscuit type deal. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very dense, crunchy type biscuit. So this one didn't fall apart in the packaging, which is great because I'll actually get to try it. Hmm. It's very fresh. That melon flavor that's in it, it's still moist. So it's not, you can hear when I bite into it. It's not overly crunchy. It actually is still very moist on the inside. Very well, well done when, when it comes to cooking or baking, I should say. They, they nailed this one right on the head because it is perfect. If all cookies could have this texture, that's what I would want. Um, it's airy too, so it's not super dense and it has this very light, sweet melon taste to it, but you can still taste the cookie. So it's like a light vanilla-y, melony type flavor, and it's it's very good. Mm -hmm. I wish I could describe it. It's like um, kind of like a sugar cookie, but without the sugar, and more of like a melony flavor to it. Very good, melony melon type flavor. Just making up words here, okay? I can't pronounce things. I'm making up my own words. You know, that's how it goes. Okay, next one is a camber camp camen. Okay, camenbert camenbert cheese snack. Camen. I'm killing these names. You guys are gonna hate me. You'd think we um, would forget our cheese fans, did you? This rich and indulgent mini Japanese cheese snack is a perfect partner to a romantic anime. It's cheese. Yeah. Okay, it's like a tiny, it's like a tiny little cheese stick. 
like the tiniest of cheese sticks. That's not even, that's not even half the size of my pinky, the actual snack in there itself. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. So it opens like you would open a Band-Aid. So it's got the two little, what is that? Oh, the fuzz for my blanket. So it's got the two little sides to it like a Band-Aid would. Or like a regular old cheese stick. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, um, it's not really... It's kind of like um kind of like mozzarella, I guess you could say, where it's very stringy. Hmm. That's really good. I could eat a bunch of that. It, it's um very rich. It's got like a um a white cheese, like an American type white cheddar. Uh, taste to it but it's very rich and it's it also is very melty like there's a lot of of cheeses out there that they're just kind of stringy like mozzarella would be but it's not very um rich like that and this just kind of you can start to chew but then it starts to melt and it's really good very very good the the flavor is not overpowering it's not like a hard swiss or a hard cheddar it's it's more of a mild but it's rich very good. I wish I had more of this because I would continue eating that. That was good. Okay, so then we have... What is this? It's a baby... Baby cocky mochi seaweed salt flavor. Okay. Oh, the seaweed crackers. Okay. These are... These are actually one of mine and Willow's favorites. Um... So it's, it kind of looks like a Frito. See how it kind of looks like a Frito? And it's very lightly seasoned. The seaweed isn't overpowering, but it's crunchy, but airy. So it's not as dense as a, as a Frito. It's in the shape of a Frito, but it, it's, it's texture is like a Cheeto, like a really thinned out Cheeto. And it has, a very slight corn taste to it and seaweed taste to it but it's really good very very good i don't want to eat all of them because i know how much willow loves them willow is my daughter for those of you who don't know i'm gonna eat most of them don't judge me mm, those are good okay i think that is it Ah, oh no, I almost missed the Uncle Perry butter cream roll cake, which is this right here, the cream roll cake. Let's see what this one tastes like. So they have one of these that tends to be in every box. And for the most part, they taste like a, a Fig Newton, but with a different type of, of inside, like a cream inside. And a lot of the times they're in a spiral type log and the outside is the texture of a, like a fig newton so that's what the cookie outside is it's very soft like a bread and then they have this thing where whatever is on the inside they tend to roll it and it comes out so good i honestly believe if uh if the american whoever makes the fig newton whatever company that is if they took on this type of of roll with the filling and the bread, it would be a little more bearable. A lot of Fig Newtons are very rich because there's so much filling and not enough of the cookie type bread on the outside. So that's why I really love these. This one smells like a cream cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. That's definitely dessert. So it's a very, it's very soft. It's the flavor is beautiful. It's a light flavor to it. It's um the cookie is is a very mild cookie type flavor. It's very soft. It's very delicate, and the inside tastes just like a like a cream cheese, like a very mild cream cheese, 
not overly sweet. That's one thing I love about these cookies is even with the banana flavored one, the strawberry flavored one, these always come out so soft and mild that they're, it makes them that much more enjoyable. A lot of the buttercream that we have here in America is so overly sweet that people don't like it. I feel like this is just that much better because the sweetness is not overpowering. Mm. So good. A lot of cakes too, because they consider it a, a, a rolled cake, not so much a cookie. Um, here are very sweet as well and sometimes can be overpowering. So this is a really, really good change of flavor. And I wish that I could make a whole entire birthday cake like that because that would be incredible. Very good, very tasty. And that, my friends, concludes this, I guess you could say, episode of uh, Tokyo Treat. I do have uh, one more coming, which I didn't think I, I did, but apparently when I went through the whole shabaka with them about not canceling in time, uh, they did me a solid and hooked me up. So um, thank you to Tokyo Treat for the constant amazing snacks and cookies. Um, always tasty, always yummy. There's been a couple times where something hasn't been my type of flavor or my type of taste, but it's never been bad. So I definitely still love what you get uh, with when you get this Tokyo treat. It's a very great investment in my opinion. If you love things that are, if you love things that are different. So wherever you are, unless you're in Japan, um, it's, different but it's in a good way it's very tasty it's it's definitely worth it there's so many different flavors in this snack box that doesn't matter what you're craving at the time when you're watching anime when you're watching movies when you're hanging out with your friends there's always some snack in here that's gonna hit the spot whether it's sweet sour salty savory whatever you're looking for it's gonna be in a box like this and that's the one thing I love about this is I get to step out of the box by going into the box and picking whatever I want. So the charts that it gives you that describe each treat is, is very user friendly. It describes uh, each treat, not in a way that's going to spoil it for you, but in a way that you get the gist and it's very good. All of the drinks that I've had that have been included in these Tokyo treat boxes really hit the spot. I am not a soda drinker. I really am not and it's not hard to fall in love with these drinks. They're not overpowering, they're not overly sweet, and they always taste like what they say. This does taste exactly like a light yogurty grape, green grape uh, type flavor or white grape. And it's very, very good. So everything is to par, that's for darn sure. It's very rare that I find anything that I dislike in these boxes. So if you plan on getting one, I definitely recommend it. You can go to tokyotreat.com uh, and you can actually post, take pictures. They have a whole community where you can talk with other people who enjoy the, the products and discuss things about what you love, what you don't love, the packaging down to the flavors. It's an amazing experience whenever you buy from Tokyo Treat. So you're, you can't go wrong. Thank you again, guys, for coming and hanging out with me on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I always have fun with you guys. You guys are literally the best. And I appreciate you so much. If there's anything else that you would like for me to do um, or try or show off, whatever the case may be, just let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure that I bring that content to you. Thank you again for coming and hanging out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.